Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing a 2020 Lux Holiday Gift Guide. It is inevitably that time of year again, and I know 2020 has been quite a crazy year to say the least, and our holidays might look a lot different than we may have spent them in the past. And with everything going on this year, I know the holiday season doesn't quite seem the same, but uh, I know I will still be giving gifts for the holiday season, even if I'm not able to be face to face with everybody that I'm gifting. So I still thought it would be helpful to put together a holiday gift guide. These are all items that either I have received as a gift or I have given as a gift to somebody, you know, so I wanted to share like the success cases basically. Well, and I did want it to all have this air of luxury around it and luxury doesn't necessarily mean it has to be from Chanel even though there are a few pieces from Chanel um, but it's also just about being able to uh, have something more have something extra um, have something different uh, given these particularly crazy time. So because I have a lot to get through, I'm just going to run straight into it. Um, it will be organized by different price brackets. I will start with less than $100 and then move on to about $100 to $500 and then uh, about $500 to $1,000. And these are all US dollar base. So my philosophy for gift giving is that I want to give things that I feel like uh, the person who's receiving the gift may not necessarily want to or be willing to spend the money themselves. There still are a lot of items from well-known brands, luxurious brands, in the less than $100 price point. I first want to start with some jewelry pieces because a lot of us are spending so much more time at home at least i find myself wanting to wear jewelry as a way to kind of spice up my home outfit <laughs> um i you know i i put on this outfit because i'm filming right now but I, i'm not necessarily dressed like this every day you know but i do have jewelry pieces that I wear on a daily basis and there are rings and there are some other pieces that I want to share because I feel like these are all wonderful gifts to give. I am talking about Ana Luisa jewelry. I have mentioned Ana Luisa before. I have been thoroughly impressed with the quality of the jewelry, their focus on sustainability and reducing their carbon footprint. It's really, really, really beautiful quality. There, it, it still pays attention to all of the good details that you want, especially if you're going to give this as a gift. Um, and because they use such uh, high quality materials, you, you can wear them on the daily at home and um, be able to enjoy them day in and day out with no worry of like tarnishing and things like that. I'm super excited to be sharing a few more Ana Luisa pieces. They have kindly sent these to me. The last time around, I picked up a couple of necklaces because I was getting really into layering a lot of necklaces, especially with t-shirts. And that bug hasn't left me yet. So there is another necklace piece. And that is this one right here. I actually thought this was going to be two chains on one hook, but in actuality, these are two separate chains. And I think it is an incredible price for you to get two well-made chains like this. They are perfect for layering. You can wear both of them at the same time, or you can wear one or the other. I'm looking forward to layering these with the other Ana Luisa necklaces that I already have. And I feel like they will look really great. It's really easy simple and really easy to layer and just add a little bit of sparkle on those zoom calls you know <laughs> all right so i have put them on and you can see even with wearing something like a high neck you're able to layer them on top and it just adds a little bit of extra to my otherwise relatively plain outfit Ana Luisa jewelry is anywhere from i think 40 dollars to 80 dollars or something like that it depends on the piece that you choose and they do have some uh like fine jewelry pieces as well. But I mean, it starts at $39. So there's definitely something that you can treat yourself with without feeling too guilty. And then I am on this layering kick 
and it has now extended to my arm candy as well. So I picked up one bracelet. Actually, I picked up two bracelets. So let me show you them together because I plan on pretty much wearing them together. One looks sort of like a twisted rope and the other one is a ball chain. I got both of these honestly to wear together. I tend to wear uh, this bracelet all the time. It's like a candy bracelet that I made during lockdown <laughs> many, many months ago. Um, but I feel like this is just perfect to, again, add a little bit of spice to your outfit just to jazz it up. It can be a simple t-shirt, it can be a simple blouse, but then this just really adds a bit of oomph to it, you know? All the pieces have really great weight to them, so you know that they're quality. They're not like chintzy at all. So the first gift guide item in the under $100 category are, is Ana Luisa Jewelry. These are some great examples, but of course their website is filled with a whole bunch of other styles that um, you can pick for yourself or for whomever you're going to be gifting. November means Black Friday is literally right around the corner and Ana Luisa is doing an exclusive Black Friday sale. I will leave a link in the description down below so that you can check out Ana Luisa. There is going to be a piece for everybody at a price point that works for everybody. So definitely check out Ana Luisa. I'm sure you'll be able to check somebody off your gift list. On the topic of things that you can enjoy while you are at home, uh, there are a few more sort of self-care related items that I think are beautiful gifts. I have given these as gifts, I've gotten them as gifts, and they are really great gifts in my opinion. The first item I want to mention are actually the Rouge Hermes lipsticks. And uh, this was part of one of my giveaways earlier this year. That's how much I really like them. I wanted to gift them to one of you guys. And I know it seems silly because we are all home and we're not really going out anywhere. Um, even if you do go out, a lot of times you're wearing a mask, so who's seeing your lips? But the thing is, I like to wear a lot of these when I am actually home because even if I'm not wearing any makeup, even if my hair is sort of messy, um, if I do put on a really nice lip color, even a luscious lip balm, it helps elevate my mood while I'm at home. And it can add a little bit more definition to your face if you have your camera on during your Zoom call. So the Rouge Hermes lipsticks, each one is about, I think $67, so it's about $70. But I also recommend their um, lip balm, so I have both of them here. Hermes lipsticks come in different bullets. There are some limited edition colors. Man, I got this limited edition from the spring collection, but the fall collection has some beautiful tubes and also has some beautiful colors. So they're continuing to expand the line as well. I think these are wonderful gifts to give to someone to help cheer up their day. And it can be just a daily reminder that you're taking care of yourself and that you're doing things that make you happy. And we cannot forget the hands need some love too. All of that hand washing, all of that hand sanitizer is wreaking havoc on your hands and the skin on your hands. So I think I mentioned this in last year's gift guide as well, but the Chanel hand cream is my favorite. I love the scent, it's not too strong, um, and it's not like, uh, it's not an overly fresh scent either. Sometimes if it's too citrusy or too fresh, I feel like it's, I, I'm just like walking around with bathroom cleaner on my hands. So it's a very subtle and sophisticated scent. I, I feel like this is every, this needs to be in everybody's household in the winter time. I buy this for everybody. I buy it for my mom, I buy it for my best friend, because I'm like, you need it you're gonna thank me later. Everybody just have one at home. Uh, this year, Chanel has come out with a beautiful gift pouch that has uh, this hand cream and a lip balm. The Chanel lip balm is excellent as well. All of the items that I'm mentioning, if I didn't say this already, are, will be linked in the description box so you can definitely check them out there. Uh, but this hand cream is a must for the winter time and is an excellent gift. We are still in the under $100 category. There are a few items for the home that I also think are great for this time period. It is getting colder outside. We will be spending more time indoors. So why not make the indoors uh, warm and 
luscious, right? So I love to make that kind of cozy atmosphere in my own home through scent. And um, some of you might be tired of hearing about these, but these are uh, incense sticks from a New York City gallery and boutique here. It's called Maison 10. They have done an exclusive collaboration and they've created the scent. So this is their signature scent and it is absolutely divine. Um, it's called Forest Floor. Again, it will be linked in the description box below. I have gifted this to like all my friends and all my family, especially during lockdown and things like that, because I wanted people to feel like they were having a cozy moment at home. Even though a lot of us are working, eating, sleeping, everything at home now, um, this way you can still remind yourself that you are making space at, for yourself. You're making space and, and you're kind of clearing out the air so that it feels cozy. So these incense sticks burn beautifully. They're very potent, so you don't even need to burn the whole stick. You can burn a portion of it and let it drop so that you can save the rest of the stick for later. But this I highly, highly recommend, especially if you know somebody who's more of a homebody. And if incense aren't your thing, then of course, diptyque candles are another wonderful gift. Every year, this is the holiday packaging from a couple years ago, so I don't think it will look the same this year. But every year around the holidays, uh, Diptyque will come out with new limited edition holiday packaging and holiday scents. And their holiday scents are spot on. And I love the balsam scent that they come out with. Every year it's a little bit different, but usually that's my favorite one out of the three holiday scents they will do. And they're about $70 for the six and a half ounce votive. You can always get the smaller ones as well. And then a lot of times they'll have these gift sets too. Um, so I think it's really great to give this sort of scent of the holiday to folks who are spending a lot more time at home. And last but not least for the final subcategory within less than $100 price point are some books. I already shared this Hermes pop-up book in my what I got for my birthday haul and I wanted to mention it again in case you are able to get your hands on it. I did manage to find it on Amazon so I will link that down below because I was getting a lot of questions about this in my um, birthday haul video. But for those of you who didn't see that, I will link it up above. <laughs> but also it is a actual pop-up book of a lot of the Hermes signature scarf designs. And all of the designs then come to life through this very interactive format. And this is not very expensive at all. So I feel like for anybody that you know who loves Hermes, they may not know about this book. At least I didn't until I was gifted it myself. So I feel like this is a wonderful gift. It does not, it's not a very expensive gift, but it will have a lot of impact. It will give hours of entertainment for someone who's spending time at home, and it will also just add to someone's Hermes collection. So I feel like this is a really excellent piece. And then of course, coffee table books are wonderful as well. This is the Yves Saint Laurent one that I received from a friend for my birthday. There are a lot of different choices out there, of course, but I, I do know those ones that I have are uh, filled with a lot of pictures because I don't, really like all of my coffee table books to just be filled with a lot of words um, and I like to see the the photos and the imagery because that's really what inspires me so a lot of the coffee table books I have focus a lot on images all right I hope you can bear with me and the lighting I left most of the shades down in hopes that the variation would not be very high today but the sun did not disappoint <laughs> it decided to hide behind a cloud so um, I made some adjustments and hopefully you can see better. We have now moved on to the $100 to $500 price point range. I think there are a lot of great options for pieces that fit within this price point. Uh, but again, I wanted to focus on items that either I have gifted to someone as a gift or I have received as a gift myself. So I already know what it looks like, what it feels like. Um, and so first, I will touch upon Hermes silks. If we think about Hermes, the silks are definitely a hallmark of the brand. 
and um, you know who can resist that beautiful orange box and the luscious silk that can be inside. There are a whole bunch of options for silks and we can start off with twillies and each twilly is I believe $175. This is one that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day because they came out with the Jungle Love Love limited edition print with the hearts. Um, they might not have this one anymore, but I'm sure they have some beautiful prints that have come out for the fall. If you know somebody who has an Hermes bag, let's say, you can always get them a Twilly to spice up their handbag. Um, Twillies are also great for tying around like your wrist to wear as a bracelet. You can also tie it around your neck. You can put it in your hair. There are a lot of different ways to actually wear and use silks, but I, I'm personally really bad at doing that so I'm trying to get better at that and really challenge myself to try using them in different ways outside of just using them on my handbags so I think these can be great gifts to give somebody because it also gives them more um, more kind of prints to play with on their bags but they also have what are called the I think they're called losange Ooh, my French is not that great um, but it kind of looks like a diamond a slightly elongated diamond shape scarf um, I have gifted those to my mom and my dad before and they absolutely love them they're perfect for wearing like every day or in the house even as parents get older at least at least my parents um, they find they get cold a lot more easily than they used to before um, and like they don't like feeling draft around their neck so uh, my parents actually both really like those scarves because they're small they don't take up a lot of volume because they're often in like a silk cashmere mix they're very very warm and they're not too bulky most of the bulk is in this like in the initial diamond shape that you can roll up and most of that's going to be on the neck and then that you have the little tail bits that are skinny and so it's really easy for them to wear inside the house almost all day to keep their necks warm so that's another one that I highly recommend um, and those are about 325 and of course there are the 90 centimeter silk scarves I think those are about 450 um, and so that's also another great option for someone who likes to wear scarves there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can wear them um, to around your neck and a whole bunch of different combinations and different ways to tie them so uh, that can also be a great gift what I like about scarves is that you can really pick based off of the pattern um, and even if the pattern looks really busy on the outside when you actually wear it not too much of that always comes through so they can actually be a really helpful accessory for some people who 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 might struggle to uh, figure out ways to accessorize you know it would be a great tool to give them a great option and they can use that to then experiment with other Hermes piece that I wanted to highlight is in this gorgeous box and it's actually their dinnerware this was a little gift to me for my birthday and it is a little tray this is from the Passifolia collection from Hermes it is I believe their latest dinnerware collection that they've created it launched earlier this year and it is like a tropical plant and flower themed dinner set um, and this little tray I believe was $285 and they have a lot of other tray designs they also have plates and cups and things like that so I feel like this is a great gift to give someone again we're spending so much more time at home um, and I love being able to use these kinds of pieces to jazz up the meals that I have at home this tray also doesn't have to be used for food purposes even though I primarily use it for that you can also use it as a trinket tray it can be the tray that's on your night table and it's where you put like your watch and jewelry so so many options on how you can use this but I think it's also just another beautiful luxe piece to gift someone for the holidays so those are some of my favorites from Hermes I'll also share some of my favorites from Chanel of course the costume jewelry from Chanel fits within this price point or at least some of them should uh, like the earrings that I most recently hauled these were 375 I want to say um, and they're very very simple they're very classic so these can be a great piece to add to any wardrobe you can wear them with t-shirts sweatshirts sweaters 
everything literally um, so I feel like these are an excellent option usually around the holidays Chanel will have released a lot of classic CC studs uh, some with rhinestones some might be without them but usually around the holidays they will because they want they know it's a great gift idea. So this time around, that's definitely something you should look out for at the Chanel boutiques. They should have a lot of those classic CC studs uh, available for the holidays. Another great Chanel gift in this price point is their classic card wallet. I believe these are about $425, 450 depending on the style. You know how Chanel likes to like take the same thing, but like if the buckle is different, they charge you a little bit more. So um, this is the classic card holder that has the one slot in the front, two slots in the back, and then the one slot, the kind of larger slot in the middle. Um, they, this is just a classic piece, such a wonderful, small leather good to have. I know there are some folks who aren't a fan of getting luxury small leather goods. That's why I think it's a great gift as well because sometimes people might not want to spend the money on an SLG. They'd rather save that to go towards a handbag. So that's why I think it's a perfect piece to gift. And also, I, I, I agree. I don't think it's necessary to have like 15 card wallets because it's going to be really hard to work through all of them. And you know, it's, it's kind of tedious to literally have to rotate through every single one of your wallets. But I do think it's helpful to have one or two in your collection to be able to use with your pieces. So that concludes the $100 to $500 price bracket. We'll now move on to the 500 to a thousand. So I'm basically calling this less than a thousand dollars. And there are some pieces that I think are really, really helpful for the winter season that we're running into. I think hats are great for the winter season. This autumn winter collection in particular, Chanel has released a whole bunch of hats different styles. This one's really subtle where the CC is also in the same black. It's like, and there's some subtle quilting kind of motif going down the band here. Uh, so this one's like a really, really low key one. And some of them like say just Chanel, like right across it. So there's no mistake. I know Dior have also come out with a lot of their cashmere wool blend uh, hats, basically beanies. Um, really, a lot of fashion houses are coming out with these kinds of beanies, like headwear that's perfect for the winter time. And it makes sense um, because it's cold <laughs> and hats are a great way to stay warm in the winter time. And um, these are about $5.75. So they're just over $500 and I feel like these are a really, really luxurious gift to give somebody and it's really fitting for the winter months as well. I mean, like if you live in California or some place that stays warm most of the year, like Hawaii, like it might not be necessary. So I, I'd be mindful of that too. <laughs> but in the Northeast, it's definitely helpful. All right, with hats are also winter scarves. And the one that I wanted to share is from Vuitton. I actually leave it in the box, um, not by choice. It's because I don't really have any place to put it in my scarf drawer. This is the large Logomania in the jungle print that I have here. I purchased this, I think in January, uh, and I loved wearing it earlier this year. It is super, super warm. You don't even need to fully wrap it around your neck, even if you just laid it down, kind of like a sash. It is super, super warm, so I really, really like this scarf. It might, this one, this particular style might be a little bit too Logomania for some folks. They have more subtle prints as well. They have more monochrome looks as well. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of options to choose from, but these are definitely great gifts as well. And those run about, I think they're about $790. On the topic of the ton, these Bombdia Shearling slippers, these might go down in the history books for me as one of the greatest purchases of 2020. I absolutely love wearing these at home, again, because we spend so much time at home. I don't know, every time I just come home and I like slip my feet into them, I just, 
I just feel happy. <laughs> they just make me happy that way. So I feel like these are also a wonderful gift option. I believe that particular style is sold out online. Um, if you do reach out to your SA, there might be some boutiques that still have a pair or two left, so they might be able to get them for you. If not, there are other slipper styles on the Vuitton website that I think are also really great options. I'll link some other alternatives in the description box down below. But um, those kinds of, that whole like luxury slipper is a great gift for this year. Sticking to shoes, I also wanted to mention my Dior B25 Oblique Runner. There we go. I have the name down now. Um, these are actually from the uh, Dior men's side and I purchased a size 39. Yep, it's a size 39 and I am a US 8 just to give you some general reference. I do believe this size was still available on the website when I checked last night. Um, so I will again link those down below, but also um, I've actually started to wear these out and they are really comfortable. The first time I wore them, the back heel did cut into my heel, but I think that's just a problem with my foot shape because almost any shoe I wear will rub me on the back of my heels. So, um, but the second time I wore them, I wore slightly taller socks and it actually helped a lot. And now they're just super comfortable. I, I don't even really think about the blisters in the back. So just wanted to mention, these are also a beautiful sneaker. So if you're in the mood to gift someone like really comfortable but stylish shoes, then I really think these B25s are a great option. And an additional gift idea are actually the Avalon pillows. So I know I have this Chanel pillow here. I feel like the Chanel pillows are not as easy to come by, but the Hermes pillows are more part of their standard homeware collection. So they're easier to get. So even though I don't actually own the Hermes Avalon pillows, um, I do have the blanket. Oh wait, can you even see? I do whoop, have the blanket here um, and the blanket runs about $1,500. And I feel like that, that, that doesn't fit in the price bracket. If you want to give someone the Avalon blanket, absolutely, by all means, please do it. I think it's an excellent blanket, perfect for the home, wonderful addition. And whoever gets that gift from you is totally lucky. Um, but because I do have the uh, Chanel pillow, I, I can kind of I can kind of guess what the Avalon pillow would be like, and I feel like it would be another gorgeous addition to the home. Depending on the size, they are about six hundred dollars to nine hundred dollars. I think it depends on what size model you get, um, and it's beautiful. They are beautiful. They're super well made. So I, I wanted to just add that as another option in this price point. There are a couple of honorable mentions that I wanted to just insert here really quickly because they technically are just over a thousand dollars. I mean, I mentioned the Avalon blanket already uh, because I can't rave enough about that, but there are a couple other items. One is the LV, the Louis Vuitton Capucines compact wallet. It is just over a thousand dollars. I believe it's 1010. And I'm actually thinking about getting this wallet for my mom for Christmas. That's why I wanted to mention it. I saw it in person. I actually didn't have much expectation for Louis Vuitton wallets. I didn't think I'd actually end up getting a Louis Vuitton wallet for my mom. I thought I might end up going down the Hermes route for my mom, but actually I was thoroughly impressed with the LV Capucines wallet, the compact version. Um, so I wanted to throw that in here as an honorable mention. The, the leather is beautiful. The colorways are also really nice. The composition of the wallet itself, it's a compact wallet, but it still has like eight card slots, extra cards, like slots, slide in slots. And then there's space for your cash. Like it's really, really well made. So I wanted to highlight that piece, even though it's just over a thousand dollars. And then the other thing I wanted to mention are these Hermes scarves, the cashmere silk blend scarves that are really large. I think these are 120 centimeters. Don't quote me on the number of centimeters. I'm really bad with distance and like length. I, I'm not that great at gauging those, so I can't tell you how big this is, but I will link similar ones down in the description box below. These usually run about a thousand dollars. These are like shawls. They are actually, they're usually over a thousand. And I think it might depend on like the pattern and things like that. It's not always just like a one set price, but I did want to mention these because these are really gorgeous. So if you know someone who's cold a lot of the times, likes to wear shawls, uh, likes to have big fluffy scarves, I think this is another beautiful option from Hermes that's worth looking into if you have the budget for it. 
Okay, okay, finally, I think I'm done. I know I was trying not to spend too much time going through all of the items, but you know how I am. I like to talk about the rationale, the reasoning, the all the other aspects about things. So um, if this video was a little bit longer, I hope you can understand. If you have any other great gift ideas that you want to share, please leave those in the description box down below. I'd love to check them out. I'm always on the lookout for gift ideas for people in my life. I will definitely check those out and I might even borrow from your great ideas. And don't forget that Ana Luisa is doing a special Black Friday sale. So check out the link in the description box for access to that sale. If you have any other questions on any of these items or really anything at all, feel free to leave those down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video and you found this holiday gift guide helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye!